feel just like a rock star. Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocket League Trading Prices. Today, we are going to be talking about why we think you should look into selling all of your items right now or else you might end up losing a lot of credits. Also, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video. It doesn't take long and you can always unsubscribe later. Thank you. Just quickly, before we get started, we would like to thank the sponsor of the video, AOA. Do you ever find you don't have enough credits to buy all your favourite Rocket League items? And you don't like how most items from the shop are insanely overpriced and untradeable? Well, with AOA you can buy credits and almost any item for reasonable prices, which will be quickly and securely delivered to your account. The link to AOA's website is in the description of this video, and make sure to use our discount code RL Trading at checkout to get 6% off your order. So, on the 1st of July, which is tomorrow, the Rocket League Summer Road Trip is starting and it will last all month and end as soon as August starts. In this month, there is going to be the community's favourite limited time game modes, along with multiple XP boosts, but the thing about this that will affect the market badly is the return of several highly sought for cars and bundles. Some of the ones returning are the Jurassic Park DLC, the Knight Rider and the Back to the Future DeLorean, but to start off the month, players will be able to purchase the Ford F-150 which will be available until the 7th of July. After that has been removed from the shop, players will then be able to purchase the Summer Formal Bundle, which will consist of the fancy formal decal, the little white top hat thing, and a couple more items. So basically they want more money, so they will definitely be overpricing these items. From the 8th until the 14th, the Knight Rider Bundle will be available. From the 15th until the 21st, the Back to the Future DLC will be available, and to finish it off, from the 22nd until the 28th, we will have the chance to get all the Jurassic Park items. And mixed in throughout this, there will be limited time game modes, like Heat Seeker, Drop Shot Rumble, and Rocket Labs. So why is this a big problem for the trading community? With all of these bundles being available, a lot of credits will be getting spent on these overpriced items. This means there will be a lot less credits in the game and therefore it will become very difficult to sell your items for credits since they will be in very high demand. This is most likely going to cause yet another market crash just like we've seen after the Skyline and the Formula 1. So we think the best thing you can do at the moment is try to sell most of your items especially things like more expensive black markets, painted cars, and painted wheels. Recently, the question people have been asking the most is should I keep my painted emeralds, RLCS decals, big splashes, and other Twitch stream drops, or should I look into selling them? Well, last year, RLCS X started on the 1st of August, and if we see the same thing happen, for what will be RLCS Season 11, as soon as the market starts to recover from this summer road trip thing, a lot of the good investments are going to be available for free from Twitch Rewards again, which is why I think you could maybe look into selling some of the items. However, we still have no clue on which items will be discontinued and which won't, so personally, I am keeping hold of mine to make sure I don't lose out on any potential profit. If any of you have some credits lying around and want to invest them, the best item I can recommend for you is the RLCS X decals, since they were made and designed specifically for RLCS Season X, so it would be very strange if they're not discontinued. But as for the other items, we have no news on which will be taken out of rotation and which will be kept in rotation for next season. Which is the main problem with all this, because we can't really advise you to keep them all, just in case none of them are actually discontinued. But, we also don't want to tell you all you have to sell your RLCS items now, because, if some of them are discontinued then you will miss out on a lot of credits. However, 
as soon as we find out which RLCS items are being discontinued, we will let you all know on our channel. We are hoping that quite a few items are removed from rotation and some new items are made and brought in especially for this season, as that will really help the market to recover further and will help trading become more popular again. If you are confused about any of this, feel free to leave a comment on the video or join our Discord server from the link in the description, since there are a lot of people there willing to help you out. Thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, please consider subscribing.